Hello from Dendrite Digital in Anaheim, makers of the Virtue Data Processor, and ZipBits, the website that shows you how to use JavaScript, HTML, and CSS. I updated the HTMI module. It was 64480 pixels, and I've since updated it to do 720p. Here we have uh, the original that was done in 2013. I believe it was under the ISE, Xilinx ISE um, IDE. And then uh, Dominic Meads updated it from ISE to Vivado, but it was still 64480, I think. And uh, I've gone up a substantial amount of resolution 1280 pixels by 720 pixels which is a standard television set and uh, here's here's my name Gregory Scott Callen uh, January 2021 it was so easy to modify Dominic did a great job updating it and uh, I've been trying to do this for quite a while and uh, only recently found this. Yeah, you got your your input clock, 100 megahertz. In his uh, unit, it was 125 megahertz. So I had to change all the timing. But it, it works fine. <laughs> it works great. So uh, here um, we have the three... HDMI color channels, the uh, it's differential uh, signaling, so we have a a positive and a negative input, and so you got three three lines: the red, green, and blue, and then you have a clock uh, a pair of clock differential lines, the MMCM, which changes all the clocks around to um, to the right frequency and uh, down here um, I believe he had um, what six in here I think he had six uh, for the multiplier and uh, I changed that to 7.425 to match the frequency, the pixel frequency I need for 720p. So that that is remarkably different. It was, uh, I think it was um, five or six or some round number, and uh, I put a decimal point in it and changed it. Here's the uh, clock multiplier. No, it's the nanoseconds. This is my clock's nanoseconds. 10 nanoseconds is 100 megahertz. And then uh, here's uh, the divider. So if you take 100 megahertz, you multiply it by 7.425, you get 742.5. <laughs> uh, and... Then uh, you divide that by 10, you get uh, the pixel frequency for 720p. But then uh, you have to uh, leave it 742.5 megahertz. You have to leave it for the transmission uh, data. It's 10 times the clock frequency because you only have, uh, you know, uh, three bits at a time and uh, the way that uh, TMDS works is to prevent it from having a DC bias and by uh, sending the bits individually uh, you go from 8 bits per color channel to 10 bits per color channel and then you have to serialize that and then you have to match the pixel clock frequency so uh, 10 times the pixel frequency to get all those bits across and without uh, signal loss. 
that's why they're doing the the DC by or eliminating DC bias. TMDS uh, uh, transition minimized differential signaling. It's a big mess, and I've been working on it for a while, and I'm glad I I uh, ran across uh, uh, Mr. Mead's um, update. And so uh, then uh, I had to modify the didn't didn't do much there, and uh, had to modify the uh, counters. So uh, this was this was like. Um, I don't know, uh, eight bits and I upgraded it to 12 bits. And so I could get the, uh, counters to match the resolution. So I, I changed that and, uh, thankfully he, uh, initialized these correctly. And then, uh, and then here, uh, this was, this was 640. This was 640 for the the low resolution. Uh, this was 480 for the horizontal resolution. And then uh, this was actually uh, um, he had had he didn't have the um, or equals. It was less than, and uh, he had it uh, starting at zero. I have it starting at one, so the numbers look pretty. <laughs> I put in the equals in both of these and uh, I used the the even numbers he used uh, one less than these even numbers so uh, actually he used these numbers but he didn't have the equal sign he used uh, 64480 and no equals or equals and then um, here uh it was 799 which is the full scan line length not uh, it's including everything the 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 visible pixels the front porch the back porch the sync signal all all together was 800 pixels wide he started at zero and so had seven seven ninety nine instead of uh 1650 and so that's the horizontal and it either adds one or uh, it sets it to one he had zero here had had this the same but he had zero here so all his numbers were one less and then uh, if the counter equals that oh uh, uh, I changed this to blocking assignments he had uh, non-blocking assignments. I was trying to eliminate uh, um, some timing problems. I think he's doing too much processing for the resolution that I'm doing. So uh, be warned, you're going to get a warning. Uh, it still runs. Uh, it's just that uh, Vivado gives me a, an issue with it, with the timing. And then uh, here, uh, this is the this is the uh, positive um, positive horizontal sync pulse over these uh, what is it forty pixels forty pixels got the and then uh, here's the vertical sync pulse and it's uh, five in and another five out. And uh, all these numbers have to be correct, get the right timing, the right timing for uh, the uh, 720p. You can look those up online and just uh, search for, just look for video signal timing. And uh, so the rest of this is pretty much the same. Um, post a link uh, to GitHub soon as I have the inclination and um, so this is essentially untouched except for a few resolution and timing issues and uh, all works great
give it a try. Um, if your FPGA has an HDMI uh, socket on it for transmitting picture, uh, this should work. And uh, um, unfortunately, it's not storing the pixels. It's it's processing them with this uh, rather wicked. Uh, <laughs> it's a really wicked uh, screen pattern. I'll show it to you in a moment. Um, just let me uh, set it up, and I'll be back. So uh, yeah, this this algorithm was really pretty interesting to look at. So. Um, I'll show it to you in a moment. So here it is, 720p, and it's very colorful, interesting pattern, and all done on an FPGA through the HDMI port. Thank you.